Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make roasted carrot soup. Cue the music. appreciate you joining us today. Thanks so much for watching for whatever platform you're joining us from. Please give us a like, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and then share this video with everybody you know. Like I said, we're going to be making roasted carrot soup, so let's check out what we have for our ingredients here. We've got a bowl of baby carrots, bowl of cut up diced russet potatoes, got a little bit of chicken stock, two tablespoons of olive oil, some thyme, some fennel seeds, some chili powder, some cumin, some salt and pepper, five cloves of garlic, and an orange that we're going to use. The recipe is in the description box. Feel free to go down there and look in the description box or the first pinned comment for the recipe. All right, we got all our ingredients. Let's start making it. All right, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to just throw all the ingredients into a bowl and mix it up with some oil. So we got our potatoes, carrots. Now you can use carrots. You can peel them and all that, but I had baby carrots laying around. Kind of inspired the whole idea. So I'm going to throw the oil into this next. And then our seasonings, we got our chili powder, we got our thyme, we got our cumin, fennel seeds. If you want to use fennel, you can dice that up just like we did the potatoes. And then we got our uh, garlic here, and I kind of smashed it a little bit after I, I took the skin off. Then you're just gonna roll or uh, get all that oil over everything. I'm not a big fan of seeing some of these videos where they just put it on a tray and then just drizzle the oil on there. I don't think that it gets everything. You want all your ingredients to have that oil on it because it keeps it from sticking. It helps transfer the flavor and the heat and also adds texture to it. So let's whoa, get all that on there. Onto our sheet tray. Our oven has been preheated to 425. Let's put this in the, in the oven for 45 minutes. I'll meet you back here. All right, there we go. Beautifully roasted vegetables, uh, potatoes, everything. What we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the stove and start cooking our soup. All right, we got our roasted vegetables back here. I am going to put them into our pot. And we will start making our soup here. I'm going to love it up because they're kind of oily. Pan's cooled off just a bit. We'll go ahead and just put them right into our pot. All right, got our veggies in there. We're just going to add our five cups of water that I have pre-measured out in our mise. A little bit of salt and pepper in there. Then we're going to throw our chicken base right in there. Then we've got a stock. I'm going to turn this on high, bring it to a boil. All right, we got a little rolling boil going on in here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my handy dandy immersion blender. And we are going to blend this up till it's pureed up smooth. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off actually for that. So here we go. <laughs> All right, I think we're done with that. Now we're gonna add that salt and pepper in there. We're gonna stir that in. Then we're gonna squeeze the orange juice in there. Stir that up. And what we're gonna do now is let this simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna go set up our photo shoot. And then we're going to take some great photos of the soup, throw some music in there. You guys can just kick back, listen to that music, look at our beautiful photos of the soup. And then we're going to come back and we're going to taste it. Don't go anywhere.
All right, beautiful soup, beautiful soup. Lovely pictures, like that music too. All right, so I, a little sour cream and a little chili crisp in there. I'm gonna take a little off the edge here where there is no chili crisp or sour cream. Give that a taste. Oh, definitely taste the carrots in there. Get the skin of the potato, gives it a little bit of a russet flavor from that potato. Yeah, this is pretty good. Get that little bit of heat in there, but chili crisp really helps it out as well. Yeah, add, add a little cream. You can throw some rice in there before you puree it up. Puree it up and make a nice carrot bisque. This would be good. But this is just a simple, quick roasted um, carrot soup recipe. There's probably a hundred different ways of doing it. You could add onion in there. That would probably help the flavor a little bit too. Maybe some celery. But uh, you can do whatever you want with it. Just a basic rest recipe for roasted um, carrot soup. Head down to the description box at the first pin comment. That's where you're going to find the recipe link for this. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Take care of yourself and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Uh, these rappers don't listen. Well, let me show them something. You hear that beat pumping, pumping from the soul kitchen. <laughs> now, what you fixing up? Good food, soul food, come and pick it up. These rappers don't listen. Well, let me show them something. You hear that beat pumping, pumping from the soul kitchen.